Good morning everybody. It's about 5.30 in the morning and today I'm heading to Colombo because I need to get my visa extended so I thought I would bring you along with me. I am quite cold actually. <laughs> I wouldn't think that Sri Lanka gets cold but it does. We've just had a lot of rain this morning. It just literally just stopped really heavy rain so I'm all wrapped up nice and cosy in bed and I don't really want to get out but I have to get out of bed because the train leaves at 6.26 from Ahangama station so yeah I've got to get up I've got to do some things before I leave I'm really excited to see what the train's like this is going to be my first train journey in Sri Lanka wakey wakey beautiful girl did you have a good sleep? I'm almost ready to go, I've just got one more thing to do before I leave and that is feed my little squirrel here, he's doing really really well. Oh, <laughs> he's very alert this morning. Like some milk buddy. He's actually now being weaned off of milk and he started to eat solid so he really likes banana, apple, carrot and rice. But he still drinks a little bit of milk but not as much as he used to but he's grown so much. got very very wet but we got our tickets they're really cool there these really little things and it's raining a lot but it was meant to be a nice scenic journey along the coast but it's raining a lot so I don't think it's gonna be that scenic but it's still an adventure and I forgot to say we got the second class train ticket which cost us 270 rupees which is just over one pound and that's all the way to Colombo. I think it's like a three hour train journey. So it's really good price. Well, we made it to the immigration. 
immigration office and we are still very very wet and cold because the air conditioning is on like minus 20 in this building but here's to the next two hours or so <laughs> trying to get our visa extended <laughs> these are very wet yeah, it's definitely not the right floor, but it's a lovely view. <laughs> okay, so you try again. <laughs> well, this is like attempt three at using the lift. What's the time? Four. 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 Oh, I pressed it that time. We must. Four time lucky. <laughs> Four time. <laughs> Three hours later and I fuming. finally, <laughs> finally got visa extended. Lani is fuming. It's not a very good experience. They're very not good at their jobs, let's put it that way. So and we're unorganized. freezing, freezing cold. I've literally got my raincoat on and a jumper underneath this. It's so cold and I can't feel the tips of my fingers. But now I'm gonna go shopping. I'm gonna stock up on some peanut butter and then go and get some food because we are starving. Buddy giddy. I hung them out, yeah, same, same. Okay, let's do tea. Circle. We've made our way back to Colombo Fort Station. We're just waiting for our train back to Ahangama. It's at 6.26. No, it's not. What train are we getting? It's at 4.46 and then we should get back about 7 o'clock. And we've got ourselves some nice snacks for the journey. And this is probably the only time today I have been warm because I'm layered up. And yeah, so this visa trip was a success. These people are staring at me. I don't like it. <laughs> So yeah, a successful, productive day. Got our visas extended till early September. So excited about that. Yeah, it's been a good day, even though it's been really bad weather. It's been an adventure. Okay, so after a three hour train journey, I've come back home. I'm now back in the Hangama in my house. It feels so good because I got so cold, so wet today. So it feels really good to be all back home and feeling nice. I'm gonna jump in the shower in a minute. But quickly before I finish off this video, I just wanna talk a little bit about something that was really noticeable today. And I feel that it's really important to share the reality of traveling and the reality of life and especially that's something i do on my youtube channel anyway i always show the reality of where i'm traveling because it's not always paradise as a lot of us know so yeah i just really quickly want to touch on that before i finish so just when we were going up on the train today um for the first hour and a half nobody wanted to sit next to us the whole of the carriage was completely full but the two seats where me and Lani were sat were both empty because nobody wanted to sit next to the pseudonymous because we are white. Uh, because people are scared that we carry corona. Um, so that was the first thing today. And then when we were like walking around the streets um, or like walking to the bus stops, for instance, um, people would shout at us corona, even if they're driving past in a lorry, we had people shouting out their windows um, as they were driving, shouting Corona. And when we were coming back on the train this evening, there were people, they would come on and the train was packed and people would be like, whoa, Corona. And we understand what you're saying. You're basically saying that we are the problem because of the color of our skin. You think we are the problem that we have Corona 
and it's just it's just really upsetting and obviously i believe that we are all equal like we should not treat people differently because of the color of our skin and especially in this time there's this big pandemic coronavirus it's everywhere we all need to support each other we all need to come together because it's difficult for everybody we shouldn't be treating people differently because we think they're carrying a disease they're carrying a virus we should never treat people differently we should always treat people equally um so yeah that just really upset me but obviously i'm not talking about the majority here the majority of people are really really lovely we met some really lovely people today that helped us but it is just the minority of people that kind of let the side down, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I just wanted to touch on that quickly before I finish the video because it is the reality and it's the reality of traveling um, and being somewhere in the time of a pandemic. Yeah, anyway, but I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. And yeah, I'd like to know your thoughts on, on this topic. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you um, because I'm really tired and I need to get some food. I've not eaten all day and yeah, I'm just going to relax for the rest of the evening because it's been a very long day. Anyway, hope you're safe, hope you're well and I will see you in the next video.